And then one of the waiters came across. And I don't know, have you ever been in a restaurant where one of the, where the waiters come across and say, is everything all right? And then they literally, they're off before you say anything. So me being me said, thank you very much for checking. I said, may I tell you, I said, the food is delicious. Thank you very much, he said. I said, just, I said, just a point now. I said, you see, I said, loads of clamshells here. I said, sauce is great, really not that many clams. Okay, he said, I'll, he said, I'll have a word with my head waiter. That was fine, so off he went. A few more glasses of wine, finished the meal. So before our plates were collected at the end of the meal, the head waiter comes across to me. And this is what he said and did. So first, there was the finger. <coughs> I believe you've got a problem with your meal. Now you see, until that point, there was no problem. Now there was a problem. So I believe you've got a problem with your meal. So I kind of lean back, kind of a little bit speechless, doesn't happen often, and I said, well, I said, thank you for coming over. I said, you know, as I explained to your colleague, you know, the food tasted great. As you can see, I said, a whole load of clam shells, I said, really didn't have that many clams in my sauce was going to go on to say something else, didn't get the chance, because what he then reacted was, you've got to understand, when you cook clams, they come out of their shells. You can have a free cup of coffee. <laughs> and off he went. What he didn't want to do was deal with the complaint. It was my fault, because I didn't un obviously understand how clams were cooked. Um, but what he was going to do, in a gesture of absolute generosity, was give me a free cup of coffee, which I didn't want. And see, that's often the, the issue around complaint handling. What people will do is they won't know how to respond, so they'll react, and it will be an external reaction, so it's your fault, you don't understand, Mr. Customer, so I'm going to blame you for this. And in order to shut you up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you something for free. That's not a great way of handling complaints. So, here's an alternative, and here's one I prepared <coughs> earlier. It's about acknowledging the complaint telling them the action you're going to take, and apologize if you need to. I'm not a fan of apologizing, because I think, by and large, over here in the UK, we apologize for many, many things when we don't need to. So that's why I've put apologize as necessary. So those are the three key green light actions. Acknowledge it, tell them what action you're going to take, and apologize if necessary. Would it have been better if this head waiter had come across to me without the finger pointing in my face and saying something like, I appreciate you speaking to my colleague. What I'm going to do is speak to the chef. And I'm sorry that you've not enjoyed your meal in our restaurant this evening. Would that have been better than, I believe you've got a problem with your food? Yeah, of course it would. So what this template does is give you a very assertive, a very clear way of responding to complaints. But what it doesn't do is put up any barriers between you and the other person. And that's the key thing with complaints. What we have to do is take them on the chin, regardless of whether they're our fault or not, or whether we've not done something or not. What we can then do is we can then go on to explain, and I'll pick up on your point, Mark. We can go on to explain that afterwards. So this waiter could have said to me, excuse me, he could have said, um, 
I'm sure I can speak to the chef. You've done the right thing in telling us about this and left it at that. Or he could have said, um, what I can do is have a word with the chef about this. Thanks so much for calling me over and letting me know. Or he could have said, I appreciate you speaking to my colleague. I know I can speak to the chef and find out what happened here. Um, I'm disappointed that you've not had a great experience in my restaurant this evening. Any of those. So you can mix and match, switch them around.